First tonight here at 6 o'clock, a hero honored and laid to rest today in Austin. Thousands stood along the highway to pay their respects as the body of former Navy SEAL Chris Kyle passed through Central Texas on the way to his final resting place. KXAN's Aaron Cargyle is live at the Texas State Cemetery in East Austin with more on the graveside service. Aaron. Good evening, Shannon. The service today was private. The cemetery will reopen at its normal time tomorrow morning at 8, and each night the gates are locked at 5 o'clock. But about 15 minutes ago, we were allowed inside the cemetery to see the grave site. Six wreaths surround it with a small picture of Chris Kyle in front. Now, the outpouring of support for his family was overwhelming for many who never even knew him. Long before the procession arrived at the Texas State Cemetery, an army of support came riding down Kamal. Any serviceman who served his country honorably and has passed away deserves to be recognized at his, at his burial service. That's why we do this. It's impressive and awesome that these many folks will come out like this. Patriot Guard riders grabbed their flags. Front line will go this direction and moved into position. Most are veterans, but not all. Eight-year-old Mason and his twin brother Ryder know why they're here. To remember our soldiers that fought for our country. They came with their grandfather, a Vietnam veteran, and have been to more than two dozen welcome home ceremonies. I'm just trying to pass on to them just what it means to be a veteran and give them some respect when they come home and, and honor them if they've been killed. Each time, the boys learn a little about the hero. They know Chris Kyle was reportedly the most lethal sniper in American military history. He shot more than 160 people. The pins on Mason's uniform represent the missions he's been on. The boys missed school Tuesday to be here, but their family feels the learning experience is priceless. We have never taken them out before, and I never take them out for, for no ones. This was just a once in a lifetime thing. Now Mason and Ryder live in Pflugerville and after the service today they walked over to our live truck and showed me a very, very special gift that they received. You can see Ryder is holding it there on the left. Mason, who's on the right, was already wearing his. Those are special pins called the SEAL Trident. They're used to recognize those who have completed the training to become a Navy SEAL. The same pins were pushed into the casket of Chris Kyle this afternoon. So. You can bet this day will be one those brothers will remember forever. Live in East Austin, Aaron Cargyle, KXAN News. All right, Aaron, thank you so much. So many people took time today to join the tribute to Chris Kyle. That scene played out along I-35 in Round Rock. People lining the roads and overpasses to pay their respects. We all realize the soldiers make a sacrifice, but the families do as well. And just to see that people do support them. And even if you don't support the war or what's going on, you should still support the families and the soldiers going through what they said that they would do. Hundreds of people gathered at the FM 3406 overpass. You see there waving flags, saluting, praying, and just showing up to show the Kyle family that they care. Any veteran that falls, I try to do what I can to support them in any way I can. Uh, it's just something I feel the need to do. People started lining the interstate and bridges as early as 10 o'clock this morning. The procession made its way through Round Rock just before noon.